Hey, what is up, cool kids? Today we're bringing a really fresh new video idea that I actually got from all of these subreddits uh, that I was going through. We're all going to take it in one take. We're just going to go through. It's going to be a nice open discussion about is jungle a good role? Now, that question is actually quite relevant because I hear a lot of people no matter who they are, no matter where they're from, say, jungle is by far the best solo queue role. It's the easiest to carry from. You know, these are generally people that don't play jungle, mind you. These are these are mostly mid laners. These are mostly ADC players. These are mostly, you know, top laners that say this. They say, jungle is the easiest role to play. It's the easiest role to climb with in solo queue. And to be quite frank, I disagree with that statement so much. So that's why I wanted to create this video to begin with. Not to mention that I my, my opinion actually varies so much because I've played I've played a lot of different roles, guys. I haven't just played jungle. You see, I've played ADC, I've played support, I've played jungle, and I've made it to diamond in all of those roles. So I feel like my opinion actually varies quite a bit, and it has a whole lot more impact compared to other people's because most people that have a an opinion on jungle and they think that it's easy, they maybe have just played one other role. Maybe they've just played you know ADC. You know, and maybe they've had like one or two jungle games in their entire career, or maybe they're a mid laner. You know, and they, they all they all think the same thing. They all think that jungle's the easiest role to carry with. And quite funnily, actually, guys, the the first time that I got to diamond, it was playing mainly ADC. The second time, it was playing entirely jungle. And the thing about that is, it actually took me about twice the amount of games to hit diamond with jungle than it did with ADC. And a lot of you may be thinking, oh, that's probably just because ADC was in a better spot, whatnot. No, actually, uh, Jungle actually had a lot of a higher win rate at the time. Um, and the reason being is actually it was substantially harder to learn Jungle than it was to learn ADC. Now, I'm going to delve into that point a little bit more because I think that Jungle actually has one of the biggest learning curves in the entire game out of any other role you know once you get good at jungle it is extremely rewarding to play and you can pull off absolutely insane plays you can just absolutely pub stomp games take them over with ease it's simple but before you learn all of the basics of jungle i would say it's by far the hardest role to play because you need some of the you need some of the best map aware you need some of the best objective control. You need some of the best macro than any other rule. By far, jungle, you need the best macro to play it. And the funny thing that I see a lot of is people, you know, they, they'll, they'll say jungle's easy, jungle's whatever. And then they'll go over to jungle and they'll realize just how not easy it is. So we're going to go into the pros and cons of playing this role. Because there are definitely a bunch of pros playing this role. I'm not, I'm not oblivious to that. I do think that jungle does actually have quite a bit of pros to it that other roles can't accomplish. But it also has a lot of cons that a lot of people aren't really willing to uh, talk about. Because <laughs> everyone, everyone is guilty of blaming their jungler. Including myself. Including myself. Right? And we have to think... Man, that can't be too easy on a jungler being blamed for everything constantly, right? It really isn't, man. It really isn't. Uh, because normally, when things fall through, things don't go the way we want it to, jungle's the first person to blame. That's just how it works, guys. But yeah, let's get right into that list. So, let's go through the pros first. Let's, all, let's start with all the positives, right, about playing jungle. Because there are a lot. Uh, I will say the first one is you have a lot of game impact. You can influence any lane in the game fairly regularly, grabbing leads and kind of snowballing and pushing advantages for your team, right? And this can be very helpful, obviously, right? Being able to gank top, mid, and bot and influencing all these different roles and gaining advantages in these roles. But it's also a double-edged sword, guys, because if you know anything about ganking, it doesn't work out 100% of the time, right? So we have, to, we have to keep that in mind, right? You may go bot lane, you may get a double kill, or you may go bot lane, the enemy jungler and mid laner may roam down, Galio might ult on your ass, you might die, you might give double buffs to the enemy ADC, and then guess what happens? Your bot lane's AFK, and the enemy team sees a victory screen, guys. So that's number one. 
Number two <clears throat> of the pros. You, you take control of objectives when ahead, and you can secure dragons, barons, rift heralds. You know, this is really awesome. This is something that, you know, obviously can win games. Getting, getting a soul can win you the game. Getting a baron can win you the game, right? Now, on the flip side, losing a baron can lose you the game. Losing soul can lose you the game, guys, right? And you have to think. There's an enemy jungler as well, right? There's you and then there's the enemy jungler, right? So, you guys, know, there's every every single positive of a jungle is a double-edged sword, which most people do not really seem to realize, right? Because everything that you can do, the enemy jungler can also do, and it has just as much of an impact on the game, right? Now, another thing I will say, another pro of jungle is when you gain a lead, you can carry very hard with that lead because you can accumulate so much gold. So, 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 so much gold. Right? So much more gold than other rules can in certain situations, right? Because you have access to lanes, you have access to your jungle, you have access to the enemy's jungle. There's a lot of resources for you to go ahead and take and just run with, right? And not every other role has that luxury, like, you know, support, they gain advantages in different ways. ADC, you know, they just farm fucking mid lane for 20 minutes and call it a day when they get carried, right? That's just, <laughs> that's just the way it goes, right? Now... <clears throat> And, and just like just like with the previous points, I will say that uh, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to all the ADC mains out there. I'm, I'm being really hard on you guys. I, I'm just I'm just kidding around, though. You guys have to know that. Um, so what what I will also say though is that the enemy jungler can also gain an advantage like this, and it can be extremely extremely annoying to go against. Right? It it, it can come to the point where like you're against a Talia who has a fully stacked Majai's at 20 minutes, which happens at all levels of play. Right? It happens in diamond, it happens in plat, it happens in gold, and this bitch is literally two shot in your ass with two abilities. She just W E's you and you're dead. It happens, guys. It's happened to me. It's happened to the best of us. Or at least who's like five and oh comes into you, just bops you. You're one shot, right? And there's nothing you can do about it, because that Elise got kills bot, that Elise got kills mid. Right? That Elise got advantages because your team overextended. I feel like all these pros are all cons at the same time, but you guys, you guys kind of get what I'm saying, right? There are two junglers in a game. There's one on your team and there's one on the enemy team. Now, I will say another thing about jungle, which is kind of nice, and this one actually isn't a double-edged sword. <clears throat> uh, the, the nice thing about this is that uh, there's a lot of pick versatility with jungle, and this allows you to fit into your team's play style or needs very, very easily, right? Um, and I will say that not every other role has that luxury, Right? Uh, most other roles, they fit into a very, you know, specific category. Like mid lane, it's mages and assassins, right? It's pretty straightforward, right? Bot lane, it's all, you know, like either mid game or late game carries, right? Support, it's either initiation, enchanter, or poke supports, right? And poke supports are kind of shit. So we'll just say there's enchanters and initiators, right? And then top lane, you're, it's just a land of the tanks and bruisers. That's, that's really all there is to it. But in jungle, you have assassins. You know, you have fucking AP mages uh, like Karthus. You have, you know, Sejuani. You have such an amazing, you know, plethora of choices. You know, you can be a tank CC team fighter. You can be a, a pick creator like Elise or Kha'Zix. You know, you can go ahead and be like a super zoomy stun bot Udyr. You know, like there's, there's so much versatility in the jungle role when it comes to picking, which is really nice. And it also allows you to get a strategic advantage in solo queue if you do play a lot of different picks, which I do think is really nice and very fun about playing jungle is you never get bored in jungle, guys, because you have so many options, right? There's literally... Any, any type of champion, you can play it in the jungle, and it, and it, and it works. There's, there's, there's an option. You can play fucking support jungle Ivern, right? Like, you, you have literally any choice in the world. So it's really, really nice. You just get so many options, right? But with that, I would say those are the main pros of playing jungle, right? I think it's about time that we get into the cons, because to be quite honest with you guys, uh, this, is the, this is what's not talked about a lot. People just see jungle, they're like, it's amazing, it's awesome. But they don't talk about the cons, right? So let, let's get into that. Let's get into the cons. So the first con that I will I will talk about is as a jungler, you are super reliant on your team to make plays, right? 
if you think about it guys whether you are invading the enemy jungler right and their team collapses before yours it's no longer a good play but if your team collapses before theirs then it's a great play right whether you're taking dragon or baron right if your team doesn't come and help you with baron and the enemy team comes and instantly contests it you can just die for free it happens at all levels of play it's the way she goes right um same thing with ganking right you're reliant sometimes on somebody to start and engage for you like if you're playing nidalee jungle right just as an example you have zero forms of cc outside of red buff which is not very reliable to say the least right so what do you do if you have a leona support that refuses to initiate the gank for you as a nidalee, uh, nidalee jungle man well you probably walk up the enemy team walks out of the gank and nothing happens right my point is is that you guys are super reliant on your team to make plays as a jungler and if your team does not play around you the way they should the game could be over pretty quickly because if the enemy team plays around the enemy jungler then guess what you're so well it's just the way she goes right now let's move on to the next point the next con uh you can grab your lanes a lead right but they may throw or into that lead away and i know you guys all know this feeling if you play jungle one time in your entire existence of playing league of legends all right you know this feeling you know the feeling of going top lane getting that guy you know a kill like you know maybe he was spam pinging you he's like he's like you know what man like i need a, i need help man i need help i need help like come here please 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 you know you're getting spam pinged he's typing in chat he's like come on man he's he's a free gank you go top lane you're like fuck, fuck. fine okay you go top lane you get this guy a kill right and then two minutes later what do you see an enemy has been slain right top laner gets solo killed no jungle gank at all this guy just gets fucking straight up soloed after you give this guy a kill right and you're like all right whatever man like i'm just not gonna focus top lane anymore and all this guy's doing for the rest of the game is like please gank please gank right Every everyone's experienced that everyone's experienced that it is so obnoxious it gives you a headache you just want to ff go next irl sometimes too all right if you guys know what go next in irl is I i'm sorry i'm not even explain it you, you guys know what i mean okay it's just not fun all right so i will say that 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 is it is tilting and also it loses games constantly i this has happened to me in a diamond elo guys i would play a lee jungle in diamond elo i have a draven bot versus a vein lulu right so obviously i know going to this game i need to shut down the vein lulu or we're just gonna get rick rolled you know in the mid to late game right because these guys are just gonna perma scale and we're done so so i go bot lane i get draven a double kill right and you think draven getting a double kill into this lane with an initiation support like a blitzcrank is probably really good right no 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 this guy proceeds to run it down and die three times in a row 2v2 no jungle interference guys and this is in diamond elo and did we lose that game yes we did we lost that game why because my bot lane decided that hey you gave me a lead but i'm just gonna give that right back to the enemy team give them a shutdown gg go next no longer interested in playing this game thanks for the gank bro so it happens and it happens at all levels of play man i'm sure it happens in masters i heard i'm sure it happens in challenger it definitely happens in diamond i'm just a lowly diamond new all right guys and moving on to the next point <clears throat> i'm gonna say this you guys as a jungler you were the blame for literally everyone's problem in the game everyone's problems is your fault right and this is something that we don't talk about enough man as jungler mains i mean we, we've, we've all experienced this right we've all we've all run into this but you are everyone's problem like everyone's problem is on you right you know top lane solo losing the lane to a winning matchup oh i've been pushed in the entire game and you didn't gank me right mid lane decided to try and counter jungle the enemy jungler and they died to the mid jungle as you were uh, on the other side of the map it's your fault because you didn't come over here in time right bot lane overextends in a 2v2 fight gets initiated on by a leona insta dies why are you taking scuttle crap right we've all been there and it happens at all levels of play and it is a huge con because everybody thinks that you were just their venting board for all of their mistakes nope no we know we know league of legends players 
We don't, we don't take responsibility for our wrongdoings, no matter who we are. So what do we do? We pin it on the next guy, right? We're just like, hey, you know what? It's your fault, bro. And, you know, <laughs> that's why, guys, I used to play ADC in support, like I said before, I played jungle, right? Right? So when I played ADC in support, my chat was enabled, right? But the moment that I switched over to jungle, what did I do? I disabled chat. Why? Well, it's quite simple. I disabled chat because of this reason right here. You're literally everybody's everybody's blame is towards you. And it gets so tilting. Just hearing the shit all the time. Especially when you're when I was trying to learn the role. Right? And, and admittedly I wasn't that good. I was maybe like a gold platinum ranking player at this time, right? And people were just pissed at me, right? And I honestly, I knew I wasn't great at the role, right? Like, I'm only, like, plat, right? So, like, I'm not fantastic. Um, but I'm at the same rank as these guys, and they're still blaming me. And I got there on my own merit, right? And I didn't even duo abuse or anything. I just solo queue climbing the platinum, and I'm trying to learn this role. And players are like, fuck you, everything's your fault, man. So, I mean, everyone knows this feeling. No matter what rank you're at, I know you do. Now... Another, the last con, I'm going to say, we touched on this one a little bit, but I will say this. As jungle, you may be able to carry, right? But you can also get hard gaps, right? And everyone knows that feeling as jungle too. Um, no one likes to admit it, but it's happened to all of us where like, you just get absolutely smurfed on. Like I was saying earlier, I got smurfed on by a Talia actually pretty recently. This guy got like 25 Majai stacks. Um, admittedly, like maybe two or three of the kills were on me, but... You know, like, most of the kills weren't, and a lot of the time it wasn't really in my control whether or not my team died in the situation that they died in or not. And this guy, late game, he would literally just W-E me and I would die. He would use two abilities on me. His Q, if he hit me with his Q, it would do 80% of my HP bar, right? This guy was, like, on another level, man. I, I felt like, I felt like, you know, I was just a useless bot running around. I was a lease. You know, I was behind in the early game, and I mean, if you guys have ever played Lee's and you're behind in the early game, you kind of understand. You're kind of a you're kind of kind of a useless bot if you get destroyed in the early game as a Lee's. So, yeah, it, it was uh, it was tragic to say the least, uh, but it it happens to all of us. So I, I can't be too upset about it. At the end of the day, sometimes we just get gapped, right? And uh, it comes with the turf of playing jungle. You can hard carry. You can hard get hard gapped by the enemy jungle and. That's what happened to me, guys. That's what happened to me. But with that, guys, I'm going to move on to the end of the video here. This is a very entertaining subject for me to talk about, honestly. I thought, you know, I had a lot of experience in the role, so I will give some insight to it. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the conclusion of the video, guys. And uh, thank you all. Thank you all for listening to this atrocious, atrocious commentary. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video yet again. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, in in summary, I, I will say this. I will say this. You know, jungle is an extremely rewarding role to play once you learn it. But it has one of the highest learning curves you could possibly imagine. It definitely higher than any other role. And I would say it is definitely the most challenging role out of any other role. You know, whether you guys like to admit it or not as support mid top lane players, I've played ADC. I've played support. Those roles are infinitely easier than jungle in terms of winning a game, right? The amount of work that you put into the game. In terms of macro as ADC, all you got to do is play back, wait for your jungle to come and help you out. Get a kill, don't get a kill. You kind of just wait to play around your jungler. And then in the mid to late game, you start popping off because you farmed properly, right? And maybe you picked up a couple kills here and there through superior mechanics, right? That's, that's ADC in a nutshell. Support in a nutshell is, you know, all about roam timings and warding and picking. And using your abilities at multiple times for engages and saving your carry when you need to, right? And, you know, when it comes to playing jungle, you need to accomplish all of these things on top of also controlling objectives right so you're, you're doing basically everything that an adc player does you're doing everything that a support player does minus the laning but instead you're just focusing on objectives 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 setting up dragons setting up counter jungles setting up heralds setting up barons right you're basically doing double the work 
in my experience, you're doing essentially double the work, right? And obviously, that comes with a huge payoff. You can have more impact on the game, but it also comes with a big, you know, not so great effect, which is, you know, if your team does not play around that, then you lose the games pretty consistently because the enemy jungler, most of the time at higher ranks, will be accomplishing that very easily, right? So with that, guys, I'm going to end this video. Please let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. If you liked the video, do not forget to drop a like. It helps me a crap ton. Um, we're trying to, you know, beat that YouTube algorithm. Every like counts, so smash that motherfucking like button. Smash that motherfucking subscribe button. And let me know what you guys thought. Anyways, love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.